In today's Cubase Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how to zoom and how to get around within your Cubase project in a nice, easy, consistent way. Okay, first up is the middle scroll wheel button. If you push that down, you can grab the screen and then you get to move it wherever you want. I use this all the time. Next up, when you click control and scroll with the mouse wheel, it zooms in and out uh, horizontally. And when you click shift and scroll up and down, it moves the project left and right. Now let's say I'm trying to edit this group of MIDI events and the project was already zoomed out. If I hit control and right click on a PC, click zoom full, this takes the screen to, and it stretches it to the selection that I've made, which is these three MIDI events here. Now I can also do that for the main section here. If I go control right click, and zoom to selection horizontal. Now it's prioritizing the main section. These events are nice and spaced out, whereas the lower zone, it's kind of starting to cut off here and there's too much room there. So it matters where you're doing this selection. Furthermore, you can select a larger amount of events in the vertical axes and you can click zoom to selection, which is also shortcut Alt S and it'll stretch the project out horizontally and vertically. So you can see um, it's nice and zoomed in there. And let's say I wanted to undo that selection. I can go right click and undo zoom and it goes back to the zoom that I had it before. Alternatively, there's this handy section to adjust the, the size of the tracks, which is zoom tracks into one row, two row, et cetera, et cetera. You can go to zoom tracks full and that uh, tries to fit <laughs> all the tracks in, uh, in one screen. Um, I like to have tracks in two rows, depending on what I'm doing. I might be editing audio and I might need to see that in a larger uh, screen. Um, typically that will be done for me in the actual editor screen that gives me plenty of room to, to do things. Also, you can zoom to four tracks in total. Let's say I move that screen. I could also do zoom eight tracks and it's for perfectly fitting those in the screen. Another nice function is if you go to this top section here, you click on it and you go zoom to locators that will zoom to the locators that you've selected. And let's say I was, um, I had a, a different selection to the locators, it will go there. So sometimes you want, might wanna have a looped area for let's say punch in and punch out and you have multiple recording lanes and you're trying to just get this one section and you go and do something in another part of the, the project, you can just quickly go back to the locator section Click how many uh, tracks you want. Let's say I wanted 12 tracks on the screen and then boom, you're just, it's, it's so much more consistent and reliable to, to use these functions as opposed to uh, moving around with a scroll wheel or trying to, to zoom in and out with these. And as you may have noticed, there's a zoom in and zoom out and these are the keyboard shortcuts. So H and G is going to zoom in and out. And that actually works in uh, the mix console as well. There's also this lower uh, little arrow where you can zoom to full, zoom to locators. That's something we looked at, but also um, a size here. So you can go roughly 30 seconds. That zooms into that. And you can also um, these two here are the first two loop markers. And you can see here, I've, I've named this Mix and Master Preview. It's right here, so that'll zoom into that. This one I absolutely love is, let's say you have a gigantic project. 
when you hit Control F on a PC, uh, you have a whole list of all these different tracks. And let's say I wanted to get to the bass. I click that Control F and just click on the bass section and it goes and finds it for me and it moves the project to that specific area. I can also search for things here. So let's uh, move to this. So it includes the tracks. It also includes any automation lanes and tracks as well. And last but not least, since we are on the topic of zooming, uh, I don't know how many people know this, but you can zoom in and out of the audio signal by using this little slider right here. So oftentimes I'll be editing audio and I need to see transients and uh, maybe line them up with other pieces of audio and it's much easier to see transients when you zoom into the audio waveform. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked that and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Thank you.